Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com back again with our Galaxy Note 2. Today we are looking at a ROM that we took a look at once before and really enjoyed it and now it's been updated and it's even better. So much better guys. So hang out. We'll be right back. So this is the Slim Fast ROM. Uh, this is version 4.4. And as always, big thanks to the developer Mike Kelso421 for bringing this to our device. We'll go ahead and fire this up. Talk a little bit about it while it boots up. This has a ton of S5. This has a ton of S5 features and uh, it's based on the official N7105 KitKat 4.4.2 update. It's been uh, Deodex, uh, debloated. It has the S5 style quick settings and the settings menu as well. Build.prop tweaks and everything has been working great. I've been using this for about week and a half now, two weeks. And it has been just awesome. You see it has the S5 style lock screen. I'm using a live wallpaper here so um, this is the lock screen that I have to use but that's alright. You can do it anywhere as always. Custom uh, Zuper widget clock there. And this is a pretty fun uh, live wallpaper, guys, jellyfish floating around. I'll probably do a review of that some other time, but back to the phone. It's literally been perfect, haven't had any problems. I've read in the comments on the thread that some people are having issues with um, systems failing or force closes. I haven't had any problems. Battery life has been great. Some people claim that they've been having issues with that. I haven't had any problem. I uh, charge it overnight and then when I go to bed, if I've been using it heavy throughout the day, if I go to bed that night, maybe it's at 30%, 20%. Um, so just normal use, it's generally like 50, 60%. So that's really, really awesome. I haven't tried video calling. It, it says it has it on here, but I haven't had much luck with that in the past. Texting has a new look here. We also have a new keyboard that looks pretty cool. Although you can't make it uh, small, the one-handed operation where it uh, shrinks down and then moves to one side or the other for easy one-handed use. It's not working with this, um, at least in my experience it isn't. If anybody has gotten it work to work, please let me know because I really like the keyboard, but I always type with one hand, so I can't use this one. I have a custom one that I use, it's a thumb keyboard that I've set up to be one-handed. So if anybody knows how to fix that, please let me know. It does have the old uh, settings that we're familiar with. Take a look at the about phone information here. This is 4.4.2 still. As I said before, I'm sure an update will come out soon, uh, bumping it up to 4.4.3 at least, if not 4.4.4. And then looking forward to Google I.O. in a couple days when they potentially will announce Android version 5, maybe. Um, at the very least, 4.4.5. But as I said, you have the old settings. You also do have the S5 style settings here, which I'm not 
crazy about. Um, in fact, I am stubbornly refusing to figure out what all these things do and find where everything is. I just, I just like the old um, style here with the menus and the tabs. Now, as I said, everything works really well. Um, haven't had any problems. A couple things you need to do when you first flash this. You have to set up the APN for AT&T, but it's very easy to do. The developer, Mike Kelso, has it written out step-by-step -step process on the thread, so definitely check that out. He also has a bugs section on the thread that you definitely want to read. Nothing major, just um, potentially dropping signal and uh, an issue with the S5 email application and their notification system not working. Uh, I don't use that myself. I've got Gmail, so that's not a problem for me. The signal dropping, uh, he has a fix for it. You just need to install this APK or this app from the Play Store and run it and it fixes the problem no problem and I haven't had any drop signal since setting it up um, so once you do those few things you're good to go I've had full LTE no problem haven't dropped any signals battery life has been great GPS has been great all in all very very happy with this ROM I've been uh, very excited at the speed, the download speed, go to install an application on the Play Store and it installs super quick. That really surprised me and I was uh, very pleased with that. So guys, I really think you can't go wrong with this ROM. Very happy with it. I'll definitely be keeping it on here for a while. This will be my official go-to ROM. If I try out something new and it doesn't work, I'll go back to this one. But that's it guys, this is the SlimFast, the new version of SlimFast for the AT&T uh, Galaxy Note 2. Big thanks to the developer once again. As always, link down below where you can get this on XDA. And hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. And that is it for me. This is Sam, MobileTechVideos.com. We'll see you next time.